Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jeff. So today we're going to talk about Uber on the Big Island. As of March about 17th, mid-March, I don't know the exact date, but Uber came to the Big Island and has been operating, alleviating some stress. The reason that it took so long here in the Big Island is multiple reasons. I don't know the exact reason, but it's everything from a puck, a P-U-C, although most cab drivers don't have to have a puck in um, Kailua Kona, because I know some cab companies who do not have a PUC, which is basically a license to be able to transport people um, commercially through tours and whatnot. But another reason is also volume. Is there enough volume? And I think that's still a concern that hasn't probably changed. But that's those are the two reasons that they have maybe taken their time to get here. Also, qualified drivers is uh, another issue that Uber and the officials in the Big Island, the mayor and whatnot, have had to address. But the mayor's had a lot of pressure put on him because of the problem with transportation around the Big Island. So, Kauai also recently launched their Uber cab service just a week before Uber I just mentioned, or Uber on the Big Island, I just mentioned that. So for those of you who want to know the fare estimates, this is off a of fare estimator, Uber fare estimator website. It's about $2 base fare. Booking fee is $1.75. Cost per minute is $0.25. Cents, and cost per mile is $1.5. Minimum charge of $6.35. Cancellation of $5. Not too bad, right? So I mean, probably for $20, you can get pretty far. I mean... If it's a 10 minute drive, that's $2.50 in time spent. If it's uh, five miles, it's what, three, six, seven fifty in cost per mileage. So that's about $15. For about 15 bucks, you can get 10 miles. So it's a little bit cheaper than what it is if you take a cab. And uh, yeah, so. The press releases that came out, no one really talked about it, except for like the AP, the Associated Press did mention it, but um, West Hawaii, West Hawaii did mention it and so did KHON. Smartphone users can now um, download the app Uber for the Big Island. As of 4 p.m. on Friday, there was a six minute wait for a ride from the Hilo Farmer's Market to the Hilo International Airport with a fair quote of about $12.60. If you've been to the Big Island, that's freaking phenomenal. <laughs> Kim told, that Harry Kim, he's our mayor, it said Kim told Tribune Herald Friday that he discussed the importance of working with Uber as a potential solution to increasing accessibility for people in areas like Puna and Kau. So South Big Island still kind of iffy on uh, how to get down there using an Uber cab. Other than that, you know, it's just mostly, you know, a little riffraff in that article. But I haven't taken an Uber cab. I've talked to some people who were out at a bar. They, they called an Uber. It seemed like they went, went away safely. And so it looks like Uber is off and running here on the Big Island. Thanks for watching.